total of 98 Class 33s were built between 1960 and 1962 by the Birmingham Railway Carriage and Wagon Company. They were powered by a 1550 horsepower Solza engine and were capable of a top speed of 85 miles an hour. This is a type of diesel electric locomotive, meaning unlike the Class 101 we saw last time, the diesel engine merely acts as a mobile generator for a number of electric traction motors that actually drive the wheels. They spent the majority of their working life in British Rail's southern region, though it was not uncommon to see these locomotives stray a little further afield, especially on long-distance freight workings. The locos were nicknamed Cromptons after the electrical equipment installed in them by the Crompton Parkinson Company. Elgin have released a comprehensive range of liveries representing the Class 33's full operational lifespan. From the early beginnings of all over BR Green, right the way up to the last livery of the Class War, Rail Freight Grey, which we see here with Unit 33206. 33206 is a 33-2 unit. The slash 2 denotes that this loco was actually slightly thinner than its previous class sisters. The 7 inch difference in width was to allow the loco to operate through the narrow tunnels between Hastings and Tunbridge Wells. And before you ask if that slightly reduced width has been replicated by Helgen, the difference would boil down to a mere 2mm in scale form, so this is highly unlikely. In real life, however, the 7 inch difference was enough to create such retooling havoc for BRCW that it contributed to their bankruptcy. Out of the box 33206 comes pristine, with the weathering added by me later. These locos quickly became workhorses of the southern region, so they certainly suit a good bit of grime and dirt build-up. Make no bones about it, and in my opinion, the Class 33 was not a good looking locomotive, but that doesn't mean Helgen have scrimped on the detail. Up front we see lamp hooks sitting proud of the cab face, and separately fitted wiper blades and handrails, the latter of which wrap round the side of the body. The blue stars denote the coupling code, and means this loco can work in multiple, with a range of other electro-pneumatic fitted locos such as the Class 73. Down the side it's more of the same story, and the distribution logos bring the livery alive. This is one of my favourite liveries, and appeals to my sense of categorisation, order and organisation immensely. The vibrant and angular logos in contrast to the dull greys is something of a metaphor for the 80s, outrageous yet somewhat stylish all in one go. Lined up next to a Backman 37, also in triple rail freight grey, we can compare the colour application of the two model companies. It's a close call, but in my opinion Backman just sneaks it, with the Helgen greys looking just a little too yellow in tone. The fan vent on the roof isn't see-through like many Backman and Hornby models, but there's plenty of good riveting and metalwork to be seen. Underframe detail is good too, but yet another model which could really benefit from a little more colour below the body line. This is most felt on the buffer beam, where there's actually lots of pre-fitted pipes and linkages, except these wouldn't all be black in real life. I'm undecided if I like manufacturers pre-fitting detail in this way. Good though it is, it can sometimes interfere with your functional coupler of choice. The model comes DCC ready and I've fitted a 21 pin chip. The body is a snug fit but will come off with some gentle persuasion, just be careful with all that lovely separately fitted detailing. With the chip in place we've got directional lighting on function 0 with one high intensity white light at the front and two red tail lights at the rear. I do like these small rear tail lights, they're quite understated and not too bright and this I feel more closely represents the real thing. This is accompanied by a lit head code blind, but sadly this is another instance where the blind is a fixed colour, giving you a mismatch in lighting if running in reverse, which is a bit of a letdown.
One thing that won't let you down is Helgen's motor mechanisms. I've never been disappointed by the running qualities of this manufacturer's locos, and the Class 33 accompanies a fleet of quiet, smooth Helgen runners. It's powerful too. This weighty beast will pull whatever you throw at it, and will be quite capable of hauling longboat trains or heavy freight loads. These trains were a mainstay of the southern region and come the late 80s, 33206 was based out of Hither Green, so it's a good fit roughly for the fleet of Woodford Wells. With a little adaptation you could turn this into a 33-1 loco, identified by the high level jumper cables. This subclass was capable of working push-pull with the four TC sets. These were most famously used on the Weymouth Harbour Tramway, but also saw work on the Gospel Oak to Barking Line in the late 90s. These models can currently be picked up for around £100, which isn't an entirely unreasonable price. Hunt for bargains on eBay and you could be picking one up for around £20 less. So do expect to see further Class 33s added to the fleet very soon. <laughs>